Page 20, Painting with Pastels. Let's look it over. It's four lines long, treble and bass clef, three, four time. We got a lot of quarter notes and dotted half notes and things. I think we can handle that. Both hands, for the most part, they play one hand at a time until you get to the very end. So I'm going to take both hands together. The left hand starts with thumb on middle C here. The right hand starts with thumb on a D here. Again, I'm assuming you know the names of the notes in the music. Just you gotta know this, huh? And it's quarter notes. One, two, three. This is fun. Dotted half note gets three counts. Remember, it's the same as three quarter notes. Hmm. Second line is almost the same as that. You one, two, three. Okay. Third line is the same as the first. The fourth line, look out. A is tied for the rest of the piece. See those curved lines? It's tied all the way to the end. So you're going to hold it down for three measures. Then you're going to add the E and the A to it in the right hand. So it's one, two, three, one, two. And that's tied. This is tied. You're going to hold it down for two measures. So for the last two measures, you're listening to this. Isn't that lovely? Okay. They're sort of trying to paint with sound. They're associating sound with colors and so forth. It's a personal thing. But you can paint pictures of sound is really what it is. Now, as far as the articulation goes, follow the, this phrasing. Follow this. Lift up. Lift up. Just a, just a little lift. Like taking a breath. Dynamics. MF is mezzo forte, moderately loud, sort of. Just whatever you think that is. This is all melody, so it's both hands. It needs to sound like one hand played it all, though. Measure seven. Find a measure seven. You see the P for piano? That's soft. What you're doing is you're echoing measure five. Measure five and six is and soft. You're just echoing those two measures. Then you go back to moderately loud like you were at the beginning. And then at the end, you're moderately loud here, and then piano, and the, you can't do anything with the left hand, you're done. You just play this softly. Really, I want to hear this when I play that. Don't drown it out. That's sort of the dynamics. It's better if you can get into the music and feel the music and you feel the dynamics. You feel the phrasing. You, There is no articulation, you're just phrasing it, yeah. Speed-wise, I don't know what gently is. It's not fast or slow. You think of one, two, three, one, two, three. Is that fast or sort of fast? I don't care. It's how I feel it. It's the overall feel of the piece. It's not the speed of the beat. And then, of course, they've added pedal because they want all this mess to run together. So let's talk pedal. At the beginning, I'm going to push the pedal down right after I play the note. I want to start the sound before I release the dampers. And you're going to hold the pedal down to the whole piece until the very end when you're here. The last measure, the pedal and the hands come up together, everything. You just run it all together. That's part of painting the pictures with the sound. Need more coffee for this one, but okay. things here. When you have the pedal down, you lose the phrasing. Doesn't matter. You feel the phrasing. You still lift up between the phrases as though you're feeling it. And the reason for that is that you play as you feel. So if you'll feel this, the phrases are there. The, the listener can actually pick up on it. They'll know phrasing is there even though they can't hear it. It's sort of a subliminal thing or subconscious thing that's happening. Just do it. And then, of course, the natural accents. We want to feel this. 
one, two, three, one, two, three. make sure the one, put a, feel that one, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, don't force it, feel it. But the listener should know for sure this is in three, four time, or there's three beats to a major that can, they're, they're, that's coming across. Let's play it together slowly and double check the notes and the rhythms. I'm not gonna do the dynamics, just notes and rhythms. Now I'm not gonna pedal this, because you can hear the notes better without the pedal, and that's all this is for. We're not performing it, so I'll leave the pedal out, and I'll leave the dynamics out. Let's just check notes and rhythms. I'll give us three counts. One, ready, go.